case of Bernoulli's equation without friction, basically Bernoulli's equation states that in a steady rotational flow of an incompressible fluid, the total energy at any point is constant. In that we have derived up to the equation which is P by rho plus Gz plus u square by 2 is constant. That means the summation of all the energy, which are the energy, pressure energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. So, the total energy at any point in the flow system is constant. That is what Bernoulli's equation says. So, if I have to write Bernoulli's equation between two points 1 and 2, at that time I can write the equation in the form like this. See, P1 by rho plus Gz1 plus U1 square by 2 is equal to P2 by rho plus gz2 plus u2 square by 2. What this equation says? This equation says that total energy at any point, point 1 and point 2 will remain constant. That is what Bernoulli's equation says. So, above equation is known as Bernoulli's equation without friction. Now, let us move to the second part of the derivation which is Bernoulli's equation with friction or it is also known as Bernoulli's equation with correction factor. Why we call it as correction factor? Because if you remember that in case of Bernoulli's equation without friction we have taken some assumptions. Remember that while we are deriving Bernoulli's equation without friction we have taken some assumptions. Here in with friction case, we are correcting that assumptions and that is why we call it as Bernoulli's equation with correction factor. Now, let us see what are that corrections. Total three correction factors are applied to Bernoulli's equation. First, kinetic energy correction factor. What is the term kinetic energy in the equation? That u square by 2 term that is the kinetic energy term. So, we are applying correction for kinetic energy term. So, it is known as kinetic energy correction factor. Second is correction for fluid friction. If you remember in Bernoulli's equation, we have taken assumption that the fluid is ideal and in ideal fluid, there are no friction exists. But for that, friction we have taken the correction factor and it is known as correction for fluid friction and third correction factor is pump work in Bernoulli's equation. That is the that in that correction factor we are taking the system in which we are using a pump and for that what is the correction factor that we will see in this case. Third case which is pump working Bernoulli's equation. So, in today's session we will cover all these correction factors. So, let us start with the first one which is kinetic energy correction factor. See, what is the kinetic energy correction factor? In Bernoulli's equation we assume that velocity u to be constant over area a. Fine, but in actual practice velocity does not remain constant and it varies over the single cross section. As I told you already, we have taken assumption that velocity will be constant, but that is not possible in actual system. So, in actual practice velocity varies over a single cross section. So, for that correction we have to introduce a correction factor. What is that correction factor? Velocity of the, for that correction factor, Velocity of the fluid is maximum at the center and zero at the surface that we have already seen in our chapter number one. I have already explained the concept of velocity field. What it says? Velocity of the fluid is zero at the surface of the cross section area and it is maximum at the center of the pipe. Fine. So, velocity is not remaining constant. 
So we have to introduce the allowance or I can say correction factor for velocity profile and that is the different correction factor for different type of the flow and here kinetic energy correction factor term we have taken as alpha. Alpha is equal to 1 for the turbulent flow and alpha is equal to 2 for laminar flow. If the flow is laminar we have to take alpha value as 2 and if the flow is turbulent we have to take alpha value is 1. So now we have to introduce this alpha term in our main equation. What is that main equation? See here P by rho plus Gz1 plus alpha 1 u1 square by 2 is equal to P2 by rho plus Gz2 plus alpha 2 u2 square by 2. So we have just introduced the term alpha in kinetic energy term. In kinetic energy term is u square by 2. So this is the form of equation when we are introducing kinetic energy correction factor. So this is about the first correction factor. Now let us move to second correction factor which is correction for fluid friction. In the Bernoulli's equation derivation we have assumed that the fluid is ideal. Ideal fluid is frictionless fluid. But in actual practice there is not possible to exist frictionless fluid. So we have to make the correction. So, it must be corrected for the existence of fluid friction. Fluid friction is an irreversible conversion of mechanical energy into heat. Friction is nothing but the conversion of mechanical energy into heat. So, the energy is not constant always, but it decreases in the direction of flow. Understood? Again, I am repeating. Fluid friction is irreversible conversion of mechanical energy into heat. So I can say that energy is not remaining constant but it is decreasing in the direction of flow. So the equation is corrected by adding a friction term which is HF in the right hand side of the equation. Why we are adding in the right hand side of the equation? Because the energy is decreasing in the direction of flow. So, at the end or I can say at the exit point energy is reducing. So, we are introducing the factor term or I can say the correction for fluid friction term at the right hand side of the equation and the term is denoted as HF. So, the equation becomes P1 by rho plus Gz1 plus alpha 1 u1 square by 2 plus P2 by rho plus Gz2 is equal to alpha 2 u2 square by 2 plus hf. So here we are introducing a new term which is the correction for fluid friction. And why we are introducing it? Because the energy does not remain constant due to the existence of friction and it is decreasing in the direction of flow. So we are introducing correction of fluid friction hf on the right hand side of the equation. And so this is the form of equation after applying two correction factor. First is the kinetic energy correction factor and second is the correction for fluid friction. Now let us move to the last and third correction factor which is pump work in Bernoulli's equation. To study this correction factor, we have taken a simple example. See here in the sketch, this is the storage tank or I can say the tank at the bottom level in which the fluid is filled. Now our purpose is to transfer the liquid from the storage tank to the overhead tank and to transfer this we will use a type of any type of a pump. So this is the pump. We have, if we have to transfer the liquid from the bottom level to upper level, we have to use a pump. So this is the pump. And if this is the situation, what is the correction factor in Bernoulli's equation that we have to see. Now assume that we have to transfer the fluid from the point number 1 to point number 2. The height of point number 1 from the bottom level is Z1 and height of point number 2 from the bottom level is set to. Now assume that pump is in, 
installed in the flow system between station 1 and 2 as shown in the figure. Now let WP be the work done by pump per unit mass of the fluid. Obviously there is some work done by the pump and due to that work done, the fluid is transferred from the bottom level to the upper level. So let us take WP be the work done by the pump per unit mass of the fluid. And HFP be the total friction in the pump per unit mass of the fluid. So I can say that net mechanical energy delivered to the flowing fluid is WP minus HFP. Fine. Total work done by the pump is WP and friction generated in the pump is HFP. So actual work done or actual energy which is delivered to the fluid is WP minus HFP. Let us assume that pump efficiency is G, which is denoted by eta is I can write like this WP minus HFP is equal to eta WP. Fine. So eta, eta is the efficiency can be given as WP minus HFP divided by WP. Since efficiency is always less than 1, the mechanical energy delivered to the fluid is less than work done by the pump. Actual work done by the pump is not delivered to the fluid because some work done is utilized to overcome the friction. So, the fluid, the mechanical energy delivered to the fluid is always less than by the work done by the pump. So, now if I want to write the Bernoulli's equation corrected for the pump work between station 1 and 2, then I can write the equation as C, P1 by rho plus Gz1 plus alpha 1 u1 square by 2 plus eta wp, this is the term for pump work in Bernoulli's equation, is equal to P2 by rho plus Gz2 plus alpha 2 u2 square by 2 plus h. Fine. So, here in pump work in Bernoulli's equation, for pump work in Bernoulli's equation, we have to introduce a term eta w. So, this equation is the final form of equation including all correction factors. So, I can say that this above equation is Bernoulli's equation corrected for all the correction factor. What is that? P1 by rho plus Gz1 plus alpha 1 u1 square by 2 plus eta wp is equal to p2 by rho plus gz2 plus alpha 2 u2 square by 2 plus h. All the three correction factors are there. Alpha 1 is the correction factor for kinetic energy, hf is the correction factor for fluid friction and eta wp is the pump work in Bernoulli's equation. So, this is the final form of Bernoulli's equation including all correction factors. So that's all about today's session. In this session, we have covered Bernoulli's equation with all correction factor. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.